It will share a history that is 10,000 years old. And to be able to have that represent our people, you know, it's important for not just us, but for everyone that goes to this school. Kwaya Sam is one of three First Nations carvers selected to work on the three totem poles being carved and painted as a part of VIU's totem project. They represent uh, the three nations that we have, um, that the university operates on, which is the, the New Channels, the Kwa Kwa Kiwa, and the, uh, the Coast Salish. And so those three uh, totem poles will represent those three nations. Killer whale's head, back, dorsal fin. Noel Brown, another carver, felt honored to be selected for the project. Oh, I start dancing around, jumping around when after Sherry phoned me and said I was chosen. But when I came down, I acted cool, but I was very excited when I got the job. Carved specifically from old growth red cedar, Sherry hopes that the totem poles will make Aboriginal students at VIU feel welcome and continue to value their education. VIU has the most Aboriginal students in the province. Uh, right now, we have 1,100 uh, Aboriginal students. We have many things like this building um, that went up, but we don't actually have things on the outside to show that we've been here. We've been here a long time, and we're still here. Kwaya Sam graduated from VIU's visual arts program in 2007, and already notices a shift since that time. I didn't really feel or see, see much of an Aboriginal presence when I was here. You know, there was the odd one, but you know, now, now I see many of uh, First Nations people coming to school here. And it looks as though his son, Kwaya Jr., might be following in his footsteps. One day I'll, I'll be carving one of these. I remember I said that once upon a time. One day I'll carve a totem pole. The trees were donated by Western Forest Products, Timber West, and Island Timberlands and have a combined value of approximately $12,000. Even as the trees were being cut down, they were shown the utmost gratitude and respect. They have a life and they, they still have a life now, especially with what's gone on with the, the trees now, that they're going to have their life here and they're going to, they're going to live on. And that's the First Nation belief that every, everything, everything is alive, everything. We're actually there for their falling, um, which was amazing. I actually cried on the first on the first time that we took down the, the first poles here at in Sanaimo territory. The artists must cleanse themselves before they're able to start carving the totem poles. You go to the lake or the river or creek or whatever, and you're cleansing yourself um, with cedar boughs and ask for strength, ask for guidance, so that you see properly, that you hear properly, that you speak properly. The artwork to be carved is carefully planned out by the elders. We speak uh, bouncing stories off each other, or talking to people, and after they narrow down and say, well, we're going with the crest of Nanaimo to, to begin with. I guess it does have a very special meaning for me because my son goes here. He takes a welding class here, so he'll see my totem pole when he comes to class. Sherry emphasizes that the poles are not just for First Nations students. She hopes that they will be enjoyed by all students at VIU and that they will bring people together. One of the main points was to actually have, have people come and ask questions, come and, come and be and ask about our culture. It's a great opportunity to come and share our culture and our teachings with this, with this school and with this uh, Shuppluck uh, gathering place. New Elam, you're welcome. Welcome everybody. That's going to welcome them and tell the story of what, what they're doing. The polls will go up later this spring, next to the Aboriginal Gathering Place at Vancouver Island University. The public is welcome to view ongoing carving this next way. to Building 170 until then. The grain's going this way, so I gotta carve this way. In Nanaimo, I'm Fiona Shedden.